Radar's destructive power is appalling. For over a half century now, radar has been scanning the skies for tornadoes. Here at the National Weather Service Atlanta office, the big Doppler ball out back has one basic job, looking for shapes falling in the sky. Raindrops are actually not a, a sphere when they fall. They're not a teardrop. They're actually sort of like a, a hamburger patty. When radar sees that shape, you know, big fat raindrops are falling. Tornado debris has a very different shape. It's spinning around all in different orientations and it ends up averaging out to a circle. Telling circles from hamburger shapes is the job of Doppler radar. It's 90s technology that just got a major upgrade called dual polarization or dual pole that doubles the detection power. Really, I was amazed. I did not expect this to become so useful. Now there's a very big difference between the way you see things and the way radar sees the world. What do you see here? It's an apple and a banana, right? You can tell the difference because you see a different shape and color. Radar doesn't see color. A bottle of black spray paint removes the color information here, getting you a little bit closer to the way radar sees the world. However, you can still tell the difference between the apple and the banana because there's a difference in shape here. Traditional radar didn't see that difference in shape. All you got was a sideways scan, left to right. It's hard to tell the difference between those two objects, but when you add an up and down scan as well, you can tell this one's a banana, this one's an apple. Let's take a look at what that looks like in a real tornado near Calhoun, Georgia. Here's that tornado Dr. Forbes is talking about, an EF3 that caused severe damage in this neighborhood. Here's the old radar. You would have seen some heavy rain. We would also could have seen some velocities there that showed the rotation. But with the dual pole, we see this blue area. That means that debris has been tossed up. There's a tornado in progress. We know destruction is underway. Even standing right underneath the Doppler ball here, you won't see much of an equipment difference between traditional radar and dual pole radar. But when you look at that readout, well, the difference could really save lives. At the National Weather Service in Atlanta, I'm Dave Malkoff, the Weather Channel.